Well, actually, what happened was, uh, as you know, we went through the uh, probably the biggest disaster in the Kennedy administration, uh, which was the Bay of Pigs. <coughs> and about a month after the Bay of Pigs, the president called me into his office around 5 o'clock in the afternoon, said, I really need some help. I said, what do you want, Mr. President? He said, I need some cigars. The president smoked Cuban cigars. He smoked the, the Petit Upman, as I remember it. So I said, fine, how many do you need? He said, a thousand. I said, when do you need them? He said, by tomorrow morning. I said, that's a very tough assignment, but I'll see what I can do. Anyway, I, had, I was smoking a lot of cigars myself in those days, so I contacted a lot of my stores. And next morning, I got to the office at 8 o'clock, and uh, the president was already ringing me from the Oval Office. Come right in, come right in. How'd you do? I said, I did very well, Mr. President. How many did you get? I got 1,200. Fantastic. He opens up his desk drawer and he pulls out the decree banning all Cuban products from the United States and signs it. <laughs> Fidel Castro begins a series of meetings in Moscow with the only man who can help bail out economically shattered Cuba. His visit to Russia is billed as a vacation. But it was obvious that Premier Castro came to get additional credit... During Castro's numerous visits to his great brother nation, talk centered not only on the intrigues of their common enemy, the United States, but also on the question of what tasted better, a Havana cigar or a Soviet cigarette. Obviously, a short discussion. Khrushchev is reported to dislike the smell of tobacco, but he presses the Russian cigar on Castro. Did he like it? Well, there's still censorship in Russia. In 1962, I went to the Soviet Union for the first time. And I spent two days, 16 hours of head-to-head -head conversation with Nikita Khrushchev. And at the end of the conversation, he says, ah, Gospodin Salinger, he says, I see you like cigars. And I don't like cigars. But I've just gotten a fabulous present from Fidel Castro, and I'm going to give it to you. So he waves the guy over, and a box comes, big wooden box, flag of Cuba encrusted in the top of it. I open it. And there are 250 <coughs> glorious cigars. Oh. I said, my God, what am I going to do? Well, first of all, you know, you think, I can't take those in the United States. It's illegal. Right. Then I thought, well, I'm traveling with a very special passport that says on a special mission for the President of the United States abroad. I can probably get through customs with that. So I took them. And I got back to Washington. And as soon as I got to Washington, the President called me in the office. He wanted to know what Khrushchev had told me. I said, listen, before we get down to this serious stuff, I made a real killing in Moscow. He said, what? I said, I got us 250 great cigars. He said, what? I said, yeah, I got us 250 great Cuban cigars. He said, do you realize what the scandal that would be in this country if people found out about it? He said, how? I said, how are you going to find out about it? There are only three people who know, Khrushchev, you and me. He said, no, 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 no. You've got to get rid of these cigars, and you've got to go to the head of U.S. Customs and turn them over to him, and he's got to write a letter saying that he got them, because otherwise we're going to be in deep trouble. Well, I went to U.S. Customs. I gave the 250 cigars. I kept the box. The guy signed the letter. I'm walking out. I said, what are you going to do with those cigars? He said, we're going to destroy them. I said, I know, one by one. 